Hello and welcome to another episode of Scortified Engineering. I'm Sprutis and uh, I'm here on a Saturday, so that's a plus. Um, we will continue with the oiling system and I've also brought some stuff. Well, actually I went by a few days ago to drop off some stuff. We have the, that uh, uh, pipe and EN10 fitting, uh, an extra olive, a few extra things that might be needed but also the uh, uh, new couplers for the intercooler pipes the sort of not v-band but the dual low ring kind of thing so let's look at that so a nice clean shirt that used to be light blue more purple now but we we'll also have 10 ton tungsten electrodes and here we have the EP man. So we have this one is uh, three inch, the other one is two and a half. We have some extra AN10 hose from speeding. We have heat wrap for the uh, downpipe. We have some metal zip ties, these are black. And then here we have a bunch of extra fittings that are good to have. And then looking in the engine bay we basically have two, well, three things left to do. Fit this uh, uh, pipe end, make this hose, and then make the hose from that fitting. After that the engine oil cooler setup will be finished. And uh, I will also reseal, to be on the safe side, those uh, something and PT to AN10 fittings on the oil filter mount. So uh, let's start with something easy, the uh, fitting here. So here it is. We have these uh, pipe and AN10 fittings from speeding. Can we focus? Yes, almost. No. So um, let's make the other hoses. And I think I will start with the one underneath the headlight um, because that will determine how much I need for this final piece of hose. Also, I think that one will be a bit more tricky to get right. So I will start with that one. So to start it off, I think I will have this, I don't know, 30 or 45 degree fitting coming from the pipe. And then there will be a piece of hose and then a 90 degree going into uh, uh, the uh, thermostat. So the uh, bend that I need to make with this is not really good or I think I'm stretching the stainless braid a bit too much so I will I will use this longer one just to see if I can actually route it otherwise I would go with the nylon braided. Okay, so we are underneath the oil thermostat and as you can see I decided to go with the nylon braided and this one is from speeding and I feel it's, so if you look at that, hopefully you can see the braid and then we look at this one, you see that the one you're seeing now is more coarse. So. And I think, I felt that this one was a bit tighter. So I guess if this one leaks, then I will switch to the speeding one that I have here. Um, but yeah, so this part is done. I just need to reinstall or remount the thermostat. 
and I still need to tighten all the fittings they are just finger tight right now and let's have a look in the engine bay And in the engine bay, we actually have a second hose assembled. So all of them are now connected. Again, only finger tight. The exception are this one, that one, and the uh, uh, cut ring fittings to the pipes. I've added two zip ties just to keep the this second pipe in sort of the place that I want it then we will add a, a bracket underneath here and it was too much of a bend in a short hose to go with a straight fitting here so I went with a 30 degree that I bought for the lower cooler um, just as a backup so that was good thinking on my end for once um, so I think this turned out quite well they are touching a little but I will take care of that later on but yeah we have a sort of sealed oil system now and a few liters that need to be topped up. So all pipes and hoses are also cleaned so that they are installation ready. Um, I think I will try and seal up the last NPT fitting to the filter adapter because then we can go around and tighten on the fittings and reinstall the thermostat and then continue with that annoying oil filter bracket. So I did a decent attempt at trying to undo that NPT adapter, but it's really on there. So I doubt that that will leak. So most of the leaks might be uh, from, well, other leaks. So all the fittings all the way down including the thermostat are tightened so these are left but I suspect that I will need to crack these open just to bleed uh, the system a little bit um, maybe not really necessary but yeah I don't think it can hurt and uh, that means that the oil system is basically done and um, so currently it's touching a little bit there but once I get the bracket in here it will it will clear very nicely and the, the bad thing is that I'm starting to consider replacing these uh, stainless braided lines to the new nylon braided since these do not run in an area where um, other things m could harm them I mean it's not really going underneath the car and the nylon braided are nicer but also 
age. So the main hose in these stainless braided, they are rubber and rubber will age. So that's another thing to consider. How often do you need to replace these? I don't know. But uh, I will read up on that. But on the other hand, I'm not really, it's not really a race car. Um, and if I have a bit of downtime due to um, replacing oil lines, then that's fine. The only downside would be if they start to deteriorate inside and let particles loose. Uh, on the hoses that I've taken apart, I don't really see any signs of that going on. So it might be fine. But uh, yeah, so from now on we have a somewhat tight closed oil system. So um, I think I think we can end this episode right now. So uh, uh, in case you want to know, I've been using uh, aluminum pipes from speeding. The uh, pipe ends, hose ends, the black ones uh, are also from speeding. It's their own brand. The latest the last nylon braided hose that I installed is also from Speeding. The old stuff that I have, the blue and red, is Earl's. And the stainless braided lines are Russell. So, there you know. Um, and as you might have seen, the uh, cutting plier, because it's better to cut than to use a grinding wheel or cutting disc to cut either nylon braided or stainless braided hose. That one is also from speeding and the uh, special wrench is also speeding. So yeah, that works well. So thank you very much for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe. Stay safe. Take care. Bye bye.